Okay, hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to untether jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone, iPads, iPad 2 maybe, I'm not sure. Basically I think maybe all maybe all iDevices untethered 4.3.1 I'll just come out and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so first connect your device to your computer. Mm -hmm. Connect it. Okay, it's connected. Once you and then and then after you want to download Red Snow. I'll provide the link in um I'll provide the direct link to it. So no need to find no upload upload no survey no, no, direct link. Okay. Um. Okay. So first. You gotta have 4.3.1, and then after you've done the red snow, go to iPod, uh, where? And this 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 will be in the description as well. And then choose whichever whichever iPod you got, and go on 4.3.1. Uh, so I got iPod Touch 3G 4.3.1 here. Down. No wait, no. Here, download it. Well, you choose whichever version you got. Download it and click download button. Happens about 10 to 20 minutes, depending how quick the internet is. And then once you've done that, you open up Red Snow and extract it to your desktop. Uh, Extract to your desktop, and then once you've done that, go down on the red snow right here. Um, open up red snow. Now, before you open up red snow, go do a control alt delete, task manager, and do processes. And now open Red Snow. And once you open Red Snow, go on R uh, Red Snow and click on uh, set set that one and do and just do that. Yeah, that makes it work until it freezes. Okay, uh, now you want to go on where you downloaded your <coughs> where you downloaded your thingy to. Um, mine's somewhere. If you uh, download, wait, wrong one. Yeah, it's pretty easy. See, download. Okay. I might have a link on the description. Download. Download. Okay, and um, get the one 4.3.11. That one. Click OK. That process is it. Select process it. Uh, it takes about not too long. This is simple jailbreak, really. It's not a big jailbreak, and it's just the best good jailbreak, really. Just come out. I don't know, one day ago, well, five hours or something, I'm not sure. Came out like one day ago, so a couple of days ago. Okay. So now I'll just patch it up the pin and get the jailbreak data ready for you to jailbreak. Just wait for it to do. Okay, so you just want to do install Cydia. That's all you have to do. Don't do anything else, because it might not, it might not be supported. Go next. And now you need to turn off your iDevice. So turn it off. Keep it connected. Turn it off. Let it turn off. Mine's just loading. Um. Um. Yeah, just let it turn off. Mine's just loading. I'm sorry that I can't like put the camera on the iPod screen because I don't have a camera. I only can record the screen from HyperCam. So it doesn't really matter really. Uh, I'll just tell you the instructions. So you want to go once it's shut off completely. Click next, 
I know. I know, just follow these instructions. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, just follow the instructions, it should be done in a couple of seconds. There we go, it's done. Now it just does the jailbreak very quickly. Don't have to redo. Yep. And basically, that's what you do. Just wait until it finishes and you're jailbroken on 4.3.1. Um, I might make a video on how to. on what to do after you jailbreak if like your first time jailbreak is, but I'm not sure. I might make a video on that. Like, what to do in city and stuff. Okay. So now it's like running loads of like script things on my iPod screen. This is perfectly normal. And if like if you think that this is like dodgy and it's like broken or broke or something, no, it's not because it's normal. And that's what it's going to do. Let it run. Just don't do anything at all. Just let it run. Just don't even touch your iPod if you're really scared. Okay. So just go through all this rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish because it's jailbreak it. Okay, and then this pineapple comes on the screen, it goes moving applications and it goes like jailbreak and different and stuff like that. I'll just say that. Um, it's the untethered. So, this will jailbreak your eye, eye device without, so you can shut it off and on it again and it's out and it's working and it's good and people have been waiting for this long time and it's just working now. You could have used Snow Breeze, but Snow Breeze was tethered and um, it wasn't very really good because um, once you restored, even if you use iRed, sometimes you get errors and it doesn't really work. Um, this is better because it's like quicker, uh, quicker, and it's just simpler really. Okay, rebooting. Now after the reboots, I'm done. Okay, so. You ju just, I've just made you jailbreak your iPod or iDevice, iPad, iPhone, and made you jailbreak it. That's simple. That it's not that hard, really. So she just be jailbroken. Press finish after it finishes, and click. Now get out of task manager and just get out of everything. And um, I'm done. Remember to subscribe, right? and comment bye guys and your jailbroken see it's come back up and city should be there i'll just check city for you uh yep city is there it's a white blob but then it's, it, it's just it's a white blob at first and then um yeah it's just a white blob sometimes it comes up with a low but sometimes it does and it's just a white blob for the moment okay so i've just made you jailbreak your ipod bye guys and Remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Bye.